and we're live. 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 Mm -hmm. You think we're live? Mm -hmm. oh, here we go. People are not getting notifications. So I don't even, and it's not showing me who's in here, which is kind of annoying. It used to show me who's in here, but it just doesn't do it anymore. But it just doesn't do it anymore. Sound off. It's just weird. I don't know why it's doing that. That's just very, very strange. So I think I'm going to do something, but I don't know what yet. Actually, I do know what. I think. Let's do the whole screen share. Actually, let's get the program up and running before I do the screen share. Share. Yeah, let's just do the entire window. Why not? It don't matter to me. Let's play in some fusion for a bit. On the 110 spool. Isn't that pretty? No, that's all interlocking. What am I missing? Oh, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the starter hole. That's right. I need a starter hole, which means I gotta draw a line on this face. Right here will work. Escape. Make it a construction line, so don't screw with anything. Stop sketch. Show sketches. Um, construction on plane on angle. Let's make it. Come on. Why is it not showing it? It usually shows it. The object you are creating is not visible, but why isn't it visible? I don't have construction planes on. Object bodies. Part of 45. Actually, I wanted a negative 45. Why were they automatically off? Actually, no, I wanted to add a 45, that's right. And it featured, they got that negative. And now I can draw my hole. What I want it to be right here. I want it to be. 3.25 millimeters. Oops. And hit return. 3.25 return. One more to place the item. Now let's get rid of the bodies. And get rid of all the other sketches. And all I want is this sketch. I want this piece. And this piece, and this piece. And then I want my bodies back. And then I want to 
extrude it this way and the other way two side and this way distance all that one I can't do all because oh, come on escape what'd you do oh, you're annoying do that again because I didn't hit my mouse buttons right I want to go to about there and then I want to do two-sided again and then I want to do there and then I want to do all and I'm going to hit OK I'm going to hone this puppy. I should have done that right there, but that's okay. And then right from here, actually, right from here, I'm going to start a sketch right over it. Get rid of this now. And what else? It's my face. So I want to do, let's see, I want to go right here. Then I want to go this way toward there. But I need it to go this way, like so. Escape. And I want some relationship to this, but I don't remember what the actual wording is. Curvature. Symmetry. Tangent. No. It's going to screw me up. Yeah. Fancy. Uh, perpendicular, that's what I want. So I won't let me select round because you can't be perpendicular to a round, can you? You know what I need? <clears throat> Just leave it. You know what? I didn't make it matter. And let's see. Run out. On this side of that. Right around here. Escape. These two parallel. Doesn't really matter where. Those are parallel. Now I want to come off of this. Do that. Make it all square. Escape. I'm going to strew that. Come on. Why are you doing all that weird crap to me these days? And this. Actually. Escape. I want to offset that. Offset. Yeah, let's go 0.5. 0.5. And I can select just that, just that, and I can extrude that to here, and that's done. That cuts all that out, which is just simply fabulous. Simply fabulous. Simply fabulous. Now I can bring back my top ring. And it all looks good. It's looking good. Looking good. Uh, 
There is that. I don't need this. I don't know why it does that. Now I need to remodel the spinner. Coming out one piece and simpler. How am I going to do the spinner? Let me think about this one. All right, I got an idea. New component. Actually, I want to call this winder. And let's just look at the top. And what is going on there? I'm at the top, top, top. That should be all good. There's literally no one in here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I think people are used to me uh, streaming this early. Circle like right around here. Okay, that's not far enough away, actually. Um, what's better? Oh, I got an idea. Just making a circle here about like thirty turns. And then just do arcs out. Yeah, sure. Um, arc. Three-point arc. Hey, look at this back. Uh, let's see. Right around here, I guess. That looks good. Give it a little. Should I arc it this way or arc it this way? I should arc it this way. Escape. Do this. So it's... Right here, escape this line, a construction line, because all I want to do is mirror this, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the line that does it all, okay then, and that's good there. And that's pretty much it. If I really don't want it there, I want it to come on over here. Don't I? Yeah, sure I do. Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. 
I know it really doesn't matter, but it's just one of them things that's going to make me feel better about it. <laughs> so let's do that again. Uh, let's start with the line. Bring it right up to here. Escape. Somewhat in the middle of that. So what are you doing? Having any fun there, man? Where is everybody? And nobody seems to be coming to the streams anymore. Not that I'm Mr. Popular, but... Let's do that. Escape. Take that line, mirror it. Select the line to mirror from. Okay. Take both of those now. Reheating some wings for dinner. That is not a bad thing. Wings are good. Circular pattern. Select the center. This here puppy will do. And puff. I've got my setup. Everyone's busy with the MMU. What about the MMU? Let's bring it up five. Well, six. Six is good. I like six. Six is a good number, right? And then on here, I'm going to draw again. And let's see, nonstop fun until it's all dialed in. Oh, you're playing with your own MMU, I see. And then let's hide these because I don't want to see them right now. And then let's, let's see. Just do a simple line across. Okay. All right. Eh, I kind of like it arcing. Well, it's a. Uh, let's do an offset of three. Three. Okay. We have to close that up and close that up. I'm working in the winder now. Sketches. I don't want to see that sketch anymore because it's driving me nuts. I do want these bodies back. And I want to extrude it up. To... I really don't need to go that high. 25 is fine. And 20, really. Yeah, 25 is good. And then create a circular pattern. And do it with features. So all I have to do is select that. Select my axis, which is this here blue line. Poof, and done. All three of them are there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I hear the MMU is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, yeah. Um, this is going to be an auto winder. Um, I've actually been working with, this is supposed to be super secret, but it's about come to the end anyways, because I'm almost done. This is like the third iteration, and this should be the final. I've been working with Chris Riley, because we're both irritated with samples. And what this is going to do is attach this piece, will slide into this spool, which is set up right now. This outer spool is almost the exact diameter of a um, 
sample from the maker box so in theory you can slide it right on here and clip it down and be done but it never quite works so what this is is i'm making it so you can attach it to a drill and wind it onto it um hopefully i have one already it sort of works the problem is, is i made the diameter only like 50 millimeters so you wind it all up and the minute you pull the drill off it just goes and unwinds <laughs> pops out bigger than the, and we both really like the smaller spool. It's just getting it to stay on the spool because, you know, when they've been in the packaging and then uh, um, printed solid winds them up on their units, it's a hundred centimeter, uh, 10 centimeters, hundred millimeters. So I actually made this 110. So it's a little bit bigger than the core of the spool, if that makes sense. That way you can't unwind. It'll actually, if it tries to relax into its original shape, it should trap it back onto it and keep it all in place. This is in theory. <laughs> but then this thing will attach to a drill. This part I'm actually working on now attaches to a drill. And you wind it really slowly, and it winds right up. So that is that. Let's go with like 20. And extrude that out like a lot. Actually, it doesn't need to go a lot, it just needs to go enough to get beyond that. I actually do want to give it a taper, that's the wrong way. Let's go five degrees. That's five degrees. Look, or negative five degrees, I should say. That looks freaking smashing to me. And then on that, we are going to put a hole. And now I'm going to remember what size it needs to be. Now, here's the big clinch. As I've learned, you can't just put the drill bit in here. Because if you do that, and then you attach it to the drill, when you print it standing up like that, it'll just break on the layer lines. So what I do is make the bit here just like a regular impact bit. But you print it laying flat. 6.3. That's really the size of these. So if I do 6, I'm safe. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. I do it all the time. So 6.3 is... R3 is 1.5, 1.5 return. And then that is actually going to go down and cut into it. Boom, done. Let's go like, yeah, seven, negative seven, negative seven return. And then I can grab that again. And I can extrude it again. And I can go negative seven again. I can do two distances. Two sided. One side is going to be negative seven, negative seven tab. And I do not want it to join. I want it to be a new body. And the other one I want to go, let's just make it like a real bit. Whoa. Yeah, that made it easy. And make it about, I don't know. Maybe we don't need to make it that big. Make it a 25. It's kind of short. Yeah, 25 is good. 25. Uh, what's up with that? If I do this one, 25. And that one, that one, I don't have to do negatives, huh? Yep. That's a new one. I mean, I do that, but I just never thought about it. Then on here, I want to draw a circle. 
That will be a diameter of, this is 4.7. So if I do 4.5, I'll have clearance. 4.5, 4.5. Oh, is that too big? I didn't make that big enough, did I? Let me get this grass. It's only three. It needs to be like six. How did I screw it up? Oh, because the hoop. Okay, close, 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 close. Stop. Go back to this one. Oh, you're not going to freak out me on me again, are you? The reason I'm getting, like, control issues. See how it all of a sudden goes into that thing? Escape. Now stop freaking out. And this is supposed to be three, because I want six. I don't know, whatever second. Three. Turn. Stop sketch. And everything else should automatically update. And that means I can draw on this again. We're actually just going to this sketch. And what did I say I want? Four or something. I think four even, right? 4.5. Yeah, 4.5 because I got 4.75. So 4.5. Return. I want to take this. I don't know, maybe. And I want to extrude down. And I want to extrude down how much? I need my glasses for this one. Yes, I do. I need my glasses. Four point four three. So four point uh, yeah, like four point seven five. I'm gonna do four point seven five. Negative four seven five. But I want to go offset plane. A negative eight. Negative eight, and that should pop it right where I need it. Why does that look too low? Return. It does look too low, doesn't it? Seven point four. Makes it need to be seven. Let's adjust this edit feature. This should be seven, not eight. That makes more sense. It looks better. Yep. That way it'll fit an impact proper. Put a fillet on this. And this. What is the problem? Why are you rotating in the wrong spot? You used to rotate from where I was working. Oh boy, and this one. I think so. How far can I go? One point one. One point two. One point three. Nope. One point two. Five. One point two. One two. Point two one five. Oh. One point two is good enough. Why is it rotating in all the wrong places? No, it's rotating in the right place. This I actually want to offset. Offset. Give me some one by point one two five. Actually, I'm just gonna make a point two. 
Okay. Draw this down with it. Up sketch. This is my first hole, right? Yep. So I want to edit that, make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Now everything fits and they'll have a little play there. When you go to glue it in, that's all good. That's looking good. Now all I need is to save it before I do something stupid. I need a toothy or something to grip it with. Right? Yeah, baby. That I do. Okay. So, origins. Let's bring those back up. Let's click on this one. Actually, let's click on this one. Cancel. Because this looks like it's straight to that. Bring one out here. Close enough. Okay. I want to draw on that. I'm just going to draw a little notch. And I don't want it locking onto anything. Yes, want a chunk. Doesn't even need to be that big. Escape. Do this. Blue can go away. I gotta go off of that. Start from object. That object. And let's go this way. Wait a minute. Distance. Let's go negative two. Okay, let's go two. Two. Why did it fail on that profile? Oh, because I'm on the wrong profile. From object. From profile plane. Let's do from object again. And let's click this face. There we go. And then let's just pitch this with a chamfer. And let's do it too distant because I want it this way more. Okay. That looks delicious. Escape. Make sure this is actually flush. This done. Let's rotate that so I have three of them. Uh, not sketch, create pattern, circular pattern, features, I want this and this and this. I don't want to select my axis of, get rid of the bodies for a second. Okay, wrong one. Um, these bodies. I want that to be my axis. You know, I can bring the bodies back. And hit OK. And there should be three tabs now. And there is. Looky that. Isn't that pretty? Let's put a little chamfer on this just because I think it'll look cooler. Or fill it, I should say. Let's do these two. It'll make them stronger. They need to be big. Do like four. Four sounds good. Four. 
Okay, then. And that about does that. So now all I have to do is cut those notches in the big spool, and it's done. So bring back the spool, bring back the thing, use this as my base. Everything looks good. All I have to do now is cut some holes. So I need to take, get rid of those. Sketches can go away. Sketches can go away. Construction lines can go away. Construction lines can go away. All I need now are the bodies. It looks like it'll work pretty well. Uh oh, that's not all the way down. Oh, that's not good. Actually, that's not bad. I know how I'll fix that. All right, let's cut it. Modify. Combine this body. Oh, no, that's the tool body. This body. Yep. This is the tool body. I want to cut. I want to keep my tool. And I want to say okay. Now, if I hide that body, I now have a notch right there. Correct. Correct. Or it's right on my feed. You know what? That's okay, though. Is it? Yeah, why not? Um, but I want to go back here. Turn this body back on. Back up, 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 back up. I don't know. Not that far. This one right here. No. Oh. This one. That feature. I did two millimeters. That's it, huh? Well, let's make it one. Yeah, one big enough. It is one big enough. One point five is though. It doesn't really have to do much. Yeah, I'm going one point five. That gives me a half a millimeter more. 1.4, actually. Oh. And a feature. This one can't be that far. It can only be 1.4. Why didn't that work? That should work. Let's make it 1.3. 3. Three. That'll work. Okay, now everything else works. Come on, why won't you zoom out on me? Let's go back to this guy. Do the combine. See the bodies. Hide this body. I now have these notches, which I can. Just take this face and just drive it right down through. Top. I just want to include this one and this one right here. Okay, then. 
that should make all of that work just peachy. And there it is. Save that puppy. <clears throat> so I have the spool, spool holder. I should have two bodies in here. This is the uh, mount. And this is the bit. I think I like that. What do you guys think? Is there even anybody here? You guys even still here anymore? Is there anybody out there? <laughs> That is going to work. And it should be a much more elegant design than what I had before. Let's um make that pretty. A little bit of a fill. Whoa, what's the matter? Convave, convex, cancel. Go back to the mount. Where am I? This thing. Now let's select this edge. Oh, it probably won't because I tapered that, huh? We'll do it. Oh, oh yeah, I guess we'll, we'll do three. Looks about right. Sure. That looks pretty good. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to taper these. Just a hair. Equal distances. Just do it like one millimeter. Just so it slides in easier. And let's include that one. And that one, say okay, and save. And I think I like it. And it should mount right up. Mount it to a drill, spin your filament on, and you're good to go. What do you guys think? Does it look awesome? Does it look like something you'd use? I think I would use that. Alrighty then. Save as STL. Okay. Main spool. Make a new folder. New folder. Spoolie. Spool. Apology. Great. Great and spool. Upper. Oops. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm exporting. That's what I'm doing. Save STL. Upper. And I'm going to go down to these two bodies. And the mount. 
Save this as Dell. Okay. Mount. Fit. Save this as Dell. Okay. Save. And that's good. Star the. Look, I got emails from some. I, where is this crap coming from? In the last like three days, I've been getting spammed to the max. I didn't really want to delete that last one. Where's Chris Riley? Or reply to Mr. Chris Riley. You guys don't need to see all this. So let's kill the share. Stop sharing. You can see my ugly ass face now. Um. Let's include a folder. And send. I think I'm going to try printing this myself right now. Oh, yeah, there. I have some crappy old Maker Geeks. That's the perfect stuff to play with. No, it is Raptor. Hang on a second. Let's start with the spinner part. With the mount. I might have to print one of those. Yes, save. Definitely save, 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 save. Where is everybody? I usually have a half a dozen people in here by now. I mean, I'm not like Mr. Popular, but there's usually some people in here. Anyone on Twitter? Twitter. Copy. I have a message from Hawk 3D Proto. Um, let's see. YouTube, let the printer heat up. Let's see if we can get some people in here. It says I have one watching. How very thrilling. Share. Copy. Twitter. Streaming. What the hell happened? Um. What else? You guys all watch my little idea maker slicer thingy. Chris Johnson took off, huh? 
My brother added a photo. Oh, nice. Over to Care BMC. Oh, very nice for you, bro. I am not over to Care BMC. I am in cold, miserable New England. All right. Emails are done. That can go away. This thing can get behind here. Uh, actually, I want to add the printer, Lubacore. And I want to heat it up. I might as well go back to sharing the screen, huh? Because that's actually going to be more interesting. Share. And my ugly ass face. And let's turn the heaters on. Whoops. Turn them on. Get up to, this is actually 235 because that's the Raptor crap. It's on blue tape. Let's fire up Idea Maker. I haven't used it in a couple days because I was doing that whole tutorial-y thing. So let's add from the desktop and Spoology. Come out. Yo, Hawk. I gave you the link to the actual chat if you want to jump in the chat, buddy. And there's a spool holder. And I'm kind of liking it. Cool. 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 I don't think I have any. Oh, I did start a one for this. Um, edit. This is actually, you know what? I have to make this HTPLA because I'm going to use an HTPLA. Save as HTPLA. Now I have an HTPLA. Yeah, I figured it was one. That's why I sent you a Twitter. I, I literally just sent it when I was goofing off here in between. Um, I know I know it's late there. I wasn't even sure you were still up. And Phil, we're going to go to 20%. Uh, two shells is fine for this. This is just a demo piece. Anyways, two, two, five, 50 millimeter print speed. Layer in the nearest extruder. Extrusion width should be six. Do I have this printer set up correctly? I better go check that right now. Printer. Current printer. Oh, I can't do that. Save and close. Close. Now oh, I can get into the printer. Printer. Printer settings. Wait, six nozzle. Yep. Okay. Save. So. Advanced. Extruder. 0.6 traction 2.5 that's about right z hop i don't care about the z hop on solids um better shell wipe sure those are about right i need just two bottom and four top and infill speed needs to be less than 60 because this thing bugs out at that speed. And I can go higher, but I can go lower. But for some reason, 60 isn't great. And I actually want a halfway decent. Let's go with 50. Yeah, no, I just, I actually did when we, you were doing the chat there when you booted over to that girl. But whatever, it was just spur of the moment thing. Top and bottom infill, I want to do zero. Oops. Remove, remove that angle and 90. Because I think it looks better. And if these, it's actually stronger. If these are at the diagonals and these are square, you actually get a stronger print. Right? People don't believe it, but you actually do. What is up, skewed? Shom is in the house. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right. Whatever. Like I said, it's just I'm just goofing off. It's, all, it's no big deal there, buddy. Skirt loops. Three. I want three. Cooling. I think I set this up. Nope, I haven't. Remove at two. I only want 75. 
75, 75, and fan point at four. I want 100 and fan point, and I do have to blip it or else the fan won't spin up. Temperatures 40 and 35 because it's HTPLA advanced. You know, I haven't done this freaking copied over my G codes yet, so it's going to do some weird crap in the beginning. I think everything else I'm okay with. And slice that puppy. Hour and 50 minutes. I can handle that. Done. Placed. Actually. Yeah, why not? Um, is this up to temperature yet? Sure is. Upload and print. Desktop. Mount G code. Now we're printing them out. No, he usually doesn't invite me anymore. I don't care. It's actually good because then I don't. If I join him, I sit there and I feel obligated to stay. Or if I'm not in the actual video chat with him, I, I take off. I only hang out for five or ten minutes and then I take off. I usually wait for you to do your <laughs> your tear face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. And, uh, I get a good laugh out of that. No, I usually leave. <laughs> That's all I want to see. Uh, let's see. I'm still screen sharing. Stop screen sharing. Well, you can see the printer in the background over here going away. Printing away on a clean ice of a new day. So what are you up to, Sean? Are you streaming tonight? You stream tomorrow night, right? Are you streaming tonight? I know you're doing it once a week now, but I don't. I can't remember if it's Saturday or Sunday or Friday or what the hell day you do it. Yeah, I think it is too. You know, we gotta do it. I mean, it's still fun to do, and I'm not saying stop doing it because <laughs> I'm gonna do it once in a while. Um, we need to do it less, <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, we, the two of us get out of hand. You know, if we do it once or twice, everyone gets a laugh out of it. And that's that. That's what I thought. I thought it was Sunday at 9. I wasn't sure if it was tonight or tomorrow. So we are printing. Is it actually printing? Or is it failing? It looks like it's printing. It's printing pretty well. I didn't even know the better or nothing. Don't need to level the bed. I'm awesome. <laughs> I build awesome printers. Actually, it's a piece of crap. The bed on that thing is terrible. I can completely reconstruct it. I did. I don't know. You guys can't see it, but um, last this week, last weekend I got, but this week, um, I uh, I replaced those bottom gears right there at the bottom of the lead screw. It used to be 20 tooth, and I got some 30 tooth, and it stopped. There used to be a whole lot of clicky noise as it went down because I only have one motor support in both that whole thing. I think it was too much torque on it, so I gave it 30 tooth. It's a little finer. Now I have to up, you know, upscale the turns per, but I'm not hearing any groaning or grunting from it right now. So I think I did a good thing. I still think I want to put a second motor on there and more lead screws. At least one more lead screw. Because right now I can push on the edge where they're they're in line and it's so wide. It teeter-totters on them. Even with all the 2020 extrusion and wheels and everything, it's still got some play in it. So I either need to put more wheels on it, which ain't happening, or just a couple more. Actually, I think one more lead screw. So one side I'll have two and one side I'll have one. Then I can actually figure out the uh, code that the rail core is using, and I can probably do the whole tri bed level thing. Ah, thirsty. That was pretty good. I think I want more. Power aid. Yum. Why do I like Powerade? Because Gatorade's $2 a bottle, and this is $0.88. Cents. 
and it's the same freaking crap. Sugar water with a bunch of chemicals added. Disgustingly delicious. I could never drink this stuff before. Then I had to drink it for like six months straight. Now I actually kind of like it. It's like watered down Kool Aid. It's very, very bad for you in one way and very, very good for you in another. Later, Hawk. We'll hook up tomorrow. Let's hook up tomorrow if you're still at the beginning. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's do a stream tomorrow. I wonder if I do a stream and you can restream it on Twitch if you get upset. <laughs> I know you can't restream from Twitch on uh, YouTube. You can save it and post it later, but you can't restream or some crap. I don't know. I can't keep my brain wrapped around all that crap. You know, Sean, are you still here? Um, Were you playing music all the time? Come to find out, Twitch hasn't been hit by the music companies yet. So you can stream on Twitch instead of YouTube and play music and they don't have the strikes against you for playing music. Come to find out. I found that out today. They don't care as long as it's not high quality and that kind of crap. You know, where somebody could pull it off and, and make a recording of it. They don't care there. Yeah, because then, I mean, I'm sure the YouTube's constantly busting your chops about um, playing music and, you know, doing the recording. And then you can't really save it, can you? Can you actually save them after you play the music? Not only that, you're always playing the games in it, in the video, the game videos. And that'll actually get you a lot more views because Twitch is a gaming platform. So where you're always modeling gaming you know, weapons and stuff from games. That might be a freaking beautiful idea for you. You might get some more views and more popularity and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but you got a laptop at least, don't you? Use a laptop and a cheap webcam. It's all I'm using is a cheap webcam. And a mini, a Mac Mini. This is what I'm using right here. This is my computer. That's it. <laughs> You're seeing the whole. That's three quarters of my computer. <laughs> it's all I use to do this. Yeah, I mean, you you could do it on a laptop. I would get a better camera. The laptop camera kind of sucks. You can't move it around. If you get a laptop camera. Um, actually, right now, if you go on Amazon, they've got uh, the Amazon warehouse. Basically, people return them or the boxes get damaged in shipping. I found the Amazon warehouse has a lot of stuff came off the boat and got crushed because they put too much crap in there. And the, the box is crushed, so they can't sell it as new. They give you like 10% off. It works fine. <laughs> I only paid like 25 or $30 for that. That thing goes for 60 bucks. Same with this. This mic was 80 or 90 bucks. And I got it for 29 bucks or something. Because it was pink. <laughs> Nobody wanted the pink. I don't care if it's pink. It doesn't even really look pink. It kind of looks, looks more purple than pink. Yeah, I guess it looks pink. I don't care. It's a mic. <laughs> Who gives a crap what color it is? Smelly octopus is amazing. What crap comes across suggested videos? Yeah. Oh, have you seen the new one? The new Buzz? Um, no, I can't remember who did it. It's all over Facebook and Twitter now. A dude did a uh, like scientific search of most popular 3D printing videos of 2018. And he searched YouTube and then a couple other 
like 3D printing places. And they were all like the clickbaity, not good. The top 10 were, were seven of the top 10 were clickbait, not even good videos. They were just like garbage, like, this is the best thing in the world. You got to see it kind of thing. You know? And then none of them, um, no Angus, no Tom, no um, Joel. Um, I don't know. There was a whole video. I, I only watched half of it because I wanted to get on here earlier. I'm trying to get on earlier so I can get off earlier. He's printing away over there. I should have done it 0.4 layer height. Kind of loud. I think about it. This thing does 0.4 layer height amazingly well. <laughs> I am surprised how good 0.4 layer height is. Smelly octopus. It's amazing what crap comes across suggested videos. Is, is Smelly octopus a, a dude that did a report on it, or is he the one that's doing all the crappy videos? Your own voice claim is copyright infringement. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, he's the one that had his voice copyright claim? Yeah. That's fair. Why does he have like some kind of weird voice where he sounds like somebody important? Yeah, because YouTube had some really high end like audio and video analyzers, algorithms that analyze the video. Because if I use music in this at all, I mean, I upload it within five minutes. It's telling me that, you know, there's this song in it and that song. And they just analyze the, you know, the audio wave. When you upload it, the digital audio wave, and, you know, if it matches something in their files that's copyrighted, you're screwed. Until you fight it. Because they ban first. There is no... You have no rights. <laughs> you have no rights on YouTube. There is YouTube and there is nobody else. They are king. Google beats them all. The dude that was copyrighted. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I'm really tired. And go. That's the guy that got his voice cover in here. Oh, I gotta get rid of this belly. I don't like it. It's gotten worse in the last month. A lot worse. I'm actually eating less, but I'm not doing much. I'm sitting in this freaking chair. <laughs> not a good thing. My printer is printing away. Pretty soon I'm going to move all those electronics, everything, because it's in my way. The lead screw is right behind it. Meantime, I need to go play with the lead screw or adjust anything. I'm trying to figure out how to improve the bed right now. They're all in the way. I need to put them on one side or the other, like right here or on the back over there. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not real happy with, with Maker Geeks. That Raptor filament is just awesome. Is Filament Geeks still alive? Let's find out. Now that they've changed their name. Let's share my screen. Let's go searching for Maker Geeks or Filament Geeks. 
<laughs> Filming geeks, complaints, better business girl. They're already gotten complaints. Have to read some of those all. I like how they changed everything. What a bunch of idiots. Or idiot. There's only one, I believe. Never miss what's happening by enabling push notifications. No thanks. Go away. I don't want to make this go away. Fuck. Oh, look, they have a transitional grab bag. For 11 bucks. Look at how cheap all their stuff is now. Crystal series. Their crystal series is actually kind of nice. H Raptor, 18 bucks. I remember paying, I never paid 79, but I paid 39 when they first came out. When I was first buying Raptor. Sale, sale, sale. Yeah, I can't imagine everything done to What's up, Tanner? Hey, when are you going to, do you have any computer at all anymore, Tanner? Can you reply while driving? Had started today, okay. Because worst case scenario, I know you're you're not like Mister Poor, but you're not you have no spare thing. Really. I have my old Mac Mini, which Mac that you could fire Windows up on. I mean, it wouldn't be awesome, but it'll run Blender and let you slice and do some stuff. Because Brian Vines gave me this one, so I still have my old one. You have to put a bigger hard drive on it. It's got a little. I just put the 320 back into it, and even that. I mean, it'll run it. It would get you up and running again. And it runs. You know, you just load Windows on it instead of running loading Mac OS. It's not a big deal. You just fire it up in Windows if you want, or you can run it in Mac just to play it. But that that would get you up and running again. I mean, it's nothing special. It's a 2.4 Mac Mini, but I used it for 10 years, and it's never given me any problems. Yeah, so all you really need to do is run the operating system in whatever app you're running. Regarding, it's, it's old. It's nothing special. It absolutely hates video at 1080p. You have to run that all your video at 720 <laughs> You can record at 1080, you can't view it at 1080. I don't know why. Honestly, I think it's because of my TV, too. I've had it hooked up. I've actually run a big old, it's a 40 or 50 inch television. I don't use a monitor, I use a TV. Why? Let's just get them one bills paid, you mean? Or something good happening in a month. You're getting bunches of money. Yeah, I mean, I could throw it in a box. You pay the shipping. The shipping will probably be 15 bucks. I'll ship it down to you. I'll make sure it's still running because I just took the hard drive out of it. So I'm going to make sure it's still running. I'm going to fire it up since I took the hard drive out. But I don't see why not. It's not that difficult of a deal to put the, take the hard drive out of. Yeah, let me know. It's just sitting here. I don't want to throw it out. It still works. I may throw it on as a server. I really don't need a server. Don't want a server. Nope, not going to set it up as a server. <laughs> Maker Geeks, look, they're still here. What a bunch of idiots. Oh, royalty check, yep.
Hello, dude. I kind of like this crystal series blue. It's like a weird light blue. Like an ice blue. That's what they call it, ice blue. It's almost clear, but bluish. Yeah, I have their crystal clear, perfectly clear crystal series, PLA. And it is awesome. I'm putting it in the raptor right now. It's awesome, but I just can't do it anymore. Can't deal with them no more. Their filament is good. The company royally sucks. Say it all the time, and I'll say it again. I wish some millionaire, billionaire would come along and just walk in that door and go, we're buying you out. You know. We want to freaking make this good. Give the guy half a million dollars or whatever and shoo him out the door. He's got all the equipment there, he's got the knowledge, and he's got all the connections. He's got a base, he's got everything ready. All he needs is someone that actually knows how to run a company. Those to not sell stuff that they don't have on hand. Yeah, it's always nice when you can buy other people out and just be done with them. I've been thinking about going back out on my own again, but God, I just hate all the BS of it. Dealing with the customer is my number one hated, most hated thing to do now. <laughs> They just waste time. Everybody wants some ridiculous crap. They want it as cheap as they can get it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to whine anymore. Done with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got to start saving some of my stuff back on the external. I have an external drive there. I have a couple. Too. I actually have about six of them. I have one brand new one, too, because the one... The one this is actually the SSD that came out of my Mac Mini. This is, I just wiped it like a dumbass. I don't know why I wiped it. And I was like, oh, I don't need this anymore. I backed everything up. The only thing I didn't back up was my slicer profiles. And then I wiped this drive and went, 10 minutes after I wiped it, I went, oh, crap. Yeah, it's kind of a slow month, huh? It's like retail, too. I did retail part-time all the time, years and years ago. Lizer Sound. did that for, God, almost 10 years. I worked at Lizer Sound. They were my, started out as a part-time extra job, and then it became a full-time job for the last three or four years. And then I went back into construction because Lizer Sound was stupid. They were too... Started out as a good small company and then became all corporate and stupid and like all of them ruined himself. Take your dad's life. Oh, he's live. I think I'll kill it and go watch him. Let's all go over to Take your dad. I'm going to kill this and go watch Take your dad. I should just invite him over here. It'd be good in a live stream, you know, a chat thing. There's got to be a way we can dual stream. Don't know how, though. OSB should be able to do it. Basically rebroadcast the window. Yeah, let's go to Techie Dad. Alright, I'm killing.